Hey everybody, Patrick here. Today we're going to be taking a look at Babylon as well as the Material Design Lite uh, framework that just recently got released. And we're going to be looking at how we can start incorporating 3D uh, workflow into our web design projects. Specifically in this regard, we'll be looking at the in adding a Babylon uh, 3D uh, scene to our header and also inc incorporating the incorporating the material design library into our project. So I'm going to sh actually demo to you guys what we're going to be making. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my copy of brackets real quick. And this is going to be, um, this is what we're going to be writing basically. I'm not going to write everything out for you. I'll give you a link to provide you, but I will go through everything line by line. Um, as well as a couple of change, we're going to have to add a, a style sheet as well as, um, doing this basic scene for everything. Anyways, our end product is actually going to be, and I'll demo it for you, is going to be this right here. So we'll have this nice little header as well as the body that we can put information in, uh, links up here, and we'll actually be able to move about this scene. Okay, so this is a pretty cool little project. It only took me about mm, 30 minutes to write this up. Um, so I'll go through it with you guys real quick, just so you guys can get an idea of how this is going to work. Okay, first thing we're going to need to go to the uh, material design library. So if you just Google search MDL, and it should be right around here. Well, this was working a few days ago, but I guess Google decided to bump itself lower in the rankings, so we'll have to do Material Design Light. All right. Here's the GitHub, but we actually want this one right here. All right, so this is going to basically tell us everything that's involved in the library. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the components, and today we're only really going to be messing around with the layout component. Okay, and this is just this is just the basic building box for constructing a page layout. We'll go into more stuff a little bit later, but as you can see, this is the the very first thing you probably want to do whenever you're building a page. And you can look at all these samples that they have. For example, this one is a um, is a transparent header. It's also so it's got the header up here. It's also got the a slide in drawer right over here, and there's some other ones right in here. They have that you can kind of go through, look, and play around with all of these different ones. And these are just based the basic code for it. As you can see, your header is going to be self-contained right over in here, and then your the remainder of your page is going to go right basically in this thing. And then everything is going to be contained within this um, within this class MDL layout um, MDL JS layout. So, but why don't we go ahead and take a look at how we're going to put this all together. So the first thing we're going to need to do is reference the CDN on this. So just come over here to the download page and you will see that um, you have the CDN that's available right over here and you can just copy and paste this into the header of your, pa of your page right in here. You also see that I'm also um, referencing a style sheet that I created and I put that right over in here into this folder styles.css okay and then I've also done the same thing like I've done in all the other pro projects in the past have a JavaScript um, file folder with a main.js and I'm referencing that as well you have to remember that um, Babylon needs the whole page to be loaded before things will start happening so you got to make sure that you load your jQuery your Babylon and your uh, JavaScript main file you got to load those at the uh, before the end of the body tags in order to get things to load properly. So make sure you're doing that. <clears throat> Everything else is fine up here for the most part. You could probably put this down at the bottom as well. Why don't we just do that just so that we're consistent on how we order things. So I'm just going to make sure that all of my JavaScript is at the base of this. Okay. And I have a little plug in here called Beautify. Um, and that just kind of cleans up my code and tab indents everything properly. Okay, so next thing, you'll see that as I mentioned before, we are going to open up with the div class MDL layout, MDL-JS-layout, okay? And that's going to basically create our um, basic uh, layout for our, our web page. 
Um, when we reference also the font family right in here, that switches us over to the Roboto uh, font style for the remainder of everything, as well as the CSS min. That's where, where those declarations are made. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is add in a header class. And inside that, that first level header class, I'm going to put the canvas that we're going to be doing everything in. I'm calling it can, can header, I guess, for now. Uh, and that's the very first thing I put below that. And then I'm going to create a header row. And in that, I'm going to put in the our Babylon header. Okay, and that's going to be specified under the class mdl-layout-title. Okay, um, and then, you know, this stuff is kind of cut and paste basically off of there. Um, the next class is going to be our, our MDL layout spacer. And then that's going to create the uh, spacer that basically aligns everything. Um, and then we, we're going to have our navigation class right here. So that's where all of our links are going to be created. Okay, so you have to remember that this is responsive. So let me just demo that for you guys. Okay, so you'll see we have our links over here. We also have our links available right here. So basically what that code is doing is... Oh, I'm sorry, that's this one over here that's referencing that. Okay. So we're just doubling up. We're adding the drawer as well as the navigation. So if I remove the drawer from over here, just so you guys can see this, I'm just going to delete that for now. And then we will, we have our live preview on, I believe. There we go. Let's ignore that. Uh, that didn't look right. All right, so I'm just going to save that. And then we'll do a preview on that and see what happens. Okay. So you can see that remove the drawer from the scene. Okay. So if we want to put that drawer back in there, save, refresh. And now you see that drawer is right back in there. Okay, so that's the drawer right there. And then with our alignment to the right, add spacer, alignment to the right, this is how you put that other alternative navigation in right up top here. Okay, so those are the two different ways you can go about navigating, adding, adding and removing navigation in here. Okay, so we have our MDL layout drawer. This is our second level of navigation, which is the slide in, um, which is great for if you're doing, so, if you want something responsive like so. Now, granted, I didn't, I haven't didn't done all the stuff necessary to really make this thing really pop and responsive. Um, so you'll notice that the uh, header that I created disappears. That is done intentionally. All right. Okay, so again, um, here's our content. This is where our main content goes. And then all of our scripts being called at the end. Okay, the last thing that you have to be aware of is we're going to head over, take a look at our Babylon scene. I've already kind of gone over how you create basic level, this basic scene. Uh, all right, so getting back to this, uh, jQuery, we're going to be calling our on document ready, which is going to pretty much call everything that we need. Don't necessarily actually need this, um, right now, but it's just good habit to have this kind of, uh, encapsulate and everything that you're running. Anyways, uh, basically we have our var canvas that we're assigning it, the get canvas, uh, get element by ID can header. And then we're going through our basic, uh, Babylon js create scene function it's going to be creating our scene giving it a clear color of black zero 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 assigning a free camera to it attaching controls to said free camera and then we're going to add a hemispheric light with an intensity of uh with the color or the position of zero one one uh as well as a light intensity um i'm sorry that was the color on it okay uh so next we also have a uh we have a sphere that we're creating, and we're assigning it the position of uh, one on the original sphere. Then we're having assigning it a color using the var material, standard material color, material diffuse color, new Babylon color three, um, one zero zero. And this, by the way, I screwed up again. This was a, uh, this is the position on the light right here. Whenever you see the vector three, that's X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. And then this is your colors. Okay. So diffuse color, new Babylon color 3, 1, 0, 0. That's red. And then we're going to assign that material onto the sphere. 
And then we're going to do a standard for loop of i equals 0, uh, I, while i is less than 500, i plus plus. Okay, and that's going to basically clone the sphere. It's going to create a new clone every iteration through it, and do a new position on that sphere, which is going to be anywhere between uh, 1 and 50. So that's, ba or 1 and 49, basically. So that's math.random. Um, times 101, that's, so, that's math.random returns value of anywhere between uh, 0 and 1, and then multiplying that by 101 and subtracting 50. Uh, so, it's basically going to give us a random position on all those pieces, and then return the scene for it, okay? So what we're, in, what we're left with, oh, there's one other thing you have to do, is you have to, on the, you have to change these positions. Okay, so in this case, we have a width on the can header of 100% and a height of 300 pixels. That is the index of negative 99. Um, that just puts every, in a position of absolute. In order for Z index to write, you work right, you need a absolute positioning, or you need a position um, for Z index to. But what that'll do is just stack it, uh, the whole Babylon scene behind everything. Uh, and then the last thing, we'll go into the MDL layout header and assign a minimum height of 300 pixels because it defaults to 64 pixels. Now, if you were fiddling around and making this thing responsive, you're probably going to have to uh, play around with the media queries on these things because I'm sure that this this actually varies and stuff. So, hence why when, I, when we come over here and we bring this down, you'll see that that all disappears, but I'm sure this this goes back to a 64 height on that. Let's see if I can figure that and find that. Well, maybe not. No, it actually um, removes that element entirely, it looks like. Hence why everything is gone from there. However, it's still, it's still nice. It scales nicely. Okay, so it's not... You probably want to play around with this uh, to get it the way you want it. But this will probably is this should be enough to get you guys started. Anyways, I hope you really like this tutorial on how to make this um, 3D header. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, we could animate it as well to make it even more awesome. But I think that this kind of uh, demos like a pretty nice nice thing that you can do with this. Anyways, thanks again for tuning in, and we'll be going over more Material Design Lite uh, along with using it. Uh, in conjunction with Babylon to kind of create cool elements for uh, a website. Thanks again, and don't forget to subscribe.